I think it's about the power inside a woman. It's lunar, it's tidal, it's just as the you know, the menstrual cycle is is linked amazingly enough to the passage of the moon, as are I think the, the activities of crabs. And I've never understood why why a full moon is powerful. Because life on Earth has evolved with the moon. There is now a moon inside of us. You know, if a, a woman went off to Alpha Centauri or something like that, she would still menstruate in 28-day cycles, at least to begin with. And probably if you took a bunch of crabs and put them on Pluto or something in a huge saltwater tank, they would initially act in sync with the way that the, the moon affected crabs on Earth. You know, so we've got that lunar element inside of us. And I specifically link it with this particular song is just to do with passion, if you like, the way quite unexpected feelings can come up in people, just as the sea has all kind of moods. You know, the sea can caress you, the sea can break your neck, the sea can be treacherous, the sea can buoy you up and keep you there, the sea can pull you down and finish you forever. You know, the sea is your mother, the sea is potentially your assassin. We supposedly come out of the sea. Maybe if the world ever sort of chokes on its own vomit, the sea will be the last place to be terminally polluted. You know, there must be huge great things down there the size of cathedrals, kind of buried feelings right at the bottom where we can't see. I think this is all just related to the moon inside us as, as sort of, you know, the hidden, the unexplained, the uncontrollable forces of the sea, which again are controlled by the moon. <laughs> 